Um, so I guess Chimneys of Fire chronologically, you know, that that had happened and that had been a really successful touring cycle, um, and it had culminated in this big show at the Big Top in in Sydney at Luna Park. So I was looking for the next thing to do, and around that time, well, actually before that, when I'd met um, Cav on the Eskimo Joe tour, and we'd become really good friends, and then I'd met Kev Mitchell on the Josh and Bob tour that we did, and we'd become really good friends. And they were both independently mates with Steve Parkin. So we were all kind of hanging out together, and we started writing songs together. Um, and then whilst I was touring for Chimneys of Fire, we started recording what we thought was going to be a, a band that we'd release at some point. So it took, it took literally about two years to get it happening. And we'd just go over, fly over to Perth. If I was ever there touring, I'd stay for an extra couple of days. Um, Steve and Kev were living in Perth at the time, so we'd, we'd get together and we'd record stuff at Kev's home studio. And then Kev moved to Melbourne and things became a bit more complicated to get together. So it took a long time. We finally finished the record and we released it in between Chimneys of Fire and Only Sparrows. And it went really well and people seemed to really love it. So we decided to do a tour. We did a big tour around the country of that. And then, you know, that was it. And then we all went our separate ways. And to this day, we, you know, people still ask us if we're gonna do more of it. And it's, it's just like, I don't think we've ever, literally ever been all in the same place at the same time. Think of yesterday's life, they were hard. If I could bottle up the sea breeze, I would take it over to your house and pour it loose through your garden. So the hinges on your windows would rust and color like the boats pulled up. So going into the writing for Sparrows was, you know, I was sort of at the same time as doing Basement Birds and, and recording that, I was also writing Sparrows. And then when it's time to release um, the Basement Birds record, I'd written most of Only Sparrows and I'd presented those songs to my label and everything. Um, and then I, you know, took sort of six or nine months out to do the Basement Birds thing. So by the time I came back to Sparrows, um, I hadn't really listened to any of those songs for six or nine months. And I realised that it was kind of a lot darker of an album than the previous albums. And I, I wanted to pursue that. I wanted to pursue that tone. Um, a lot of things were happening in my life around that time. I was about to have my first son and, and actually he was born before we released Only Sparrows. So my son was born in August and in around, uh, would have been around December, I took myself off to New York for uh, a month by myself and rented an apartment in, in New York to finish writing for Only Sparrows. And, you know, I thought it was going to be this great experience and my wife was really encouraging of it. She was like, you know, you need to get out of... Like, I'd been in domestic land. I'd, you know, I'd taken sort of four months off the road to just be at home with my, with my son, Archer, and my wife and just really in, engage in family life. <clears throat> and I needed to finish the album and I just felt like I couldn't get the headspace being in that environment. So I went to New York um, and it was snowing, it was winter, and I rented this little apartment and I had three or four close friends in New York and all of them had left town when I got there. So most of them had come back to Australia. So I was just, I was there by myself. And it really, it kind of did affect how the record came out. Songs like Love Lies, I finished over there, which is a really emotional song for me. It's like a breath of relief at the end of the album where it's like okay we got through this you know and I guess that was kind of the ref a reflection of of that entering fatherhood entering you know real adulthood when you actually have responsibilities for other people and kind of realizing okay we got through that process so it's a, it's a really poignant and emotional record for me and, and just I guess the whole album for me was like sending me in a bit of a new direction that I wanted to explore um, at the same point in my life where I was really heading out on a new adventure into, you know, a new type of adulthood, I guess.